to plug in my mic all right should be on now anyways hi everyone and welcome to my stream hi Kirby um, so I'll be doing customs and I'll let you guys decide in what we should play Code is A4TW6. Always good, the small muffin. The options that we got here is um, Solo, Kraken, Blast Ball, Trials, Hexathon, Ring Hexalation, uh, Fall Ball, Hexagravity Trials, and Hexagon. Jump Around, Lily, and I think that's about it. So a decent variety. Sure, Jackson. Um, depending on what map or show we do, I'll give out um, tips and tricks as we go. We got two votes for solo and one vote for hoverboard and one vote for jump. So I think we're going to do solo for the first game. So let's see who's here. Hmm. Nice. I'm out for sure. 18? Oh, three votes for solo. Okay, now we're really going to do solo. I'm going to wait another minute or two to see if anyone else wants to join since the uh, amount is still increasing. Four votes for solo. I send the ties. Oh, I think we're stuck at 19, but I think someone was trying to join. Sure, person. I'll explain them as uh, we go. Hyper. Oh, that's. I think three votes for solo, two votes for hoverboard, and one vote for jump. Everyone in? Double checking. Okay, um, I think no one else is going to join, so I'll go ahead and start it. And uh, for those who haven't joined, you can join on the next one in case if uh, someone's just getting on. I don't believe it's going to be too long. Ooh, Pipe Dream. What an interesting first map because this is actually one of my favorite races.
I have qualified from this map nearly every single time, even at my first few goes at it. So for this one, you always want to use the look ahead strat to see which pipes lead where. So, uh, uh, Now for this first section here, I usually try to wait in line with the boxing gloves. And I usually try to go left side, since it's a usually a little quicker. I would care less which way I go here, since uh, they both have sim similar times of getting through. Now this next one, I try to go left, but I wasn't paying too much attention to the look ahead strap. Okay, got to the path I wanted to go. I don't like the right side very much since it's very time consuming with the mecha mini mechanical seesaws. Now for some reason, uh, this is the part where the cannons um, blast the uh, water balloons, but I guess that's bugged ever since the mid-season update, or I guess the uh, season first launched, but which I say the W. It's way less of an annoyance. Jump Club, my second most favorite map out of all Fall Guys, only behind the Jump Showdown. I always find satisfaction when jumping over the bars, always. I got the mo easiest, most OG variation. And for those times that I, uh, people try to grace me, I don't honestly don't mind it because I uh, usually find a way around it. And I can even make it backfire on those who do try to grief me. <laughs> Proxy looks like smiley guy, that's funny. Usually, if it's under 10 players, it's an automatic final. In which my theory stands true. Now, this was the um, final I just won on from JP's last custom of the day. And, uh, last... But that time I wasn't able to explain it to you, so now, to you guys, now I can. I always, always avoid the pattern tiles because 
it spawns tentacles if you step on them, making it harder to survive. And for those who does it on purpose, that must mean they must be good at uh, surviving while they try to uh, eliminate the other lower skilled players. Hey there you guys. Uh, I would love to wave to you back, but I forgot to equip my wavy mode. Because all, all it is really is, oh no, I accidentally body blocked that player. But yeah, all I got equipped really is um, strong man or strong guy emotes. Mostly just flexing like this. No rip Jeff Bozo. Or Jeff Bozos. Yeah, I sometimes have a hard time pronouncing the names. But I'll get them though. Yeah, that's on my bad. Ooh, PJ's gonna do the timeout strat. A very, or I should say, pretty difficult thing to do. It's required though if you want to time this final out with another pro. Uh, if we ever get to the end, or to the four minute mark, I can try to, I can maybe explain it if I don't mess it up. Because it's a pretty easy thing to mess up. PJ, hopefully we can both make it. We were just right there for timeout as you would see it all for of the octopus or not octopus Kraken arms has appeared on all four of the edges GG to uh, PJ Hi Safi And code is a 4 tw 6 for those who want to join. And got a vote for hoverboard. So, uh, might do hoverboard unless if there's more votes. And a, oh, in case if it doesn't appear the first time, reselecting it again will make the picture for it appear. Two votes for hover. 
Two votes for Hover, one vote for Fall Ball. People still joining, so I'll reset that minute. Oh, and a vote for jump. Three, four votes for hover. Okay, I guess hover it is. Oh, no, no, someone left. Now, I don't really in, um, I wouldn't say hoverboard heroes would be my top pick, but I guess it is useful for right now to teach you guys how to survive it. Just mainly because they're at the end, if the flippers is the variation, it basically comes down to luck who wins. You might die in the third round of it, Jackson, because of that RNG part at the end. this part I usually stay on this side for the best chances to not get hit by the projectiles. I wouldn't say too close because someone can push you off. Now no matter what variation of this, if it's flippers, block, boxing gloves, whatever, always go mid. And then if there's like too many people here, you can just stay on the conveyor belt to avoid getting body blocked, griefed, whatever. And then you can do this little shortcut here and around the... over the speakers. I almost made that. Now this would either be three swinging lasers, a big bonkus, of what MT calls it, or the hardest variation where it's three of these rocking lasers but facing the other direction and they're longer. And then for moments like this where people try to grief you at the end, I wait for them to pass by or take the other side. Oh, rip Jackson. Oh, yeah, the grease. I I never really expected the grease at first until over time where I got so good to the point where I always think of a potential beginner griefing or beginning looking player griefing me because they were it was a pro in disguise. So no, I always stay away from people if I'm about to jump. Otherwise, I just wait it off. This is especially critical when you play extreme. There is a way to beat griefers by beating them at their own game, but you it requires a little bit of skill and m mind reading. You gotta anticipate what they do 
And you got, also got to use the environment around you too to take advantage of the griefing. Now when it comes to defending against grief, I'm all about that. I'm not really a very good griefer offensively, but defensively, oh yeah, big time. So there's not that much I can say of how to grief or do it, doing it professionally, but I could try to teach you the best, you guys the best possible to defend against griefing. Like if you watch me or proxy griefing me, you'll see how I defend against it. Because proxy's honestly the best example of how to defend against his griefs. If someone's pushing you off, like near the edge here, just hold down your left stick or whichever button you use to move uh, towards the creeper, and then you'll hardly get pushed at all. Whoa, I almost died. <laughs> Good thing for those reaction skills. might be in the way when it comes to um you know hitting you so i would wait for it before doing that first trick and then for the second trick you can just go around but it's generally harder here's the other variation i was talking about in the last round the big bonkus you can just stay back here and then at the very back it won't hit you and then once you're ready to go make a run for it easy and I rushed th that time so Proxy couldn't grief me since I was out of his griefing range and that's what you do, you do not do what I don't know what to do there just go while he's right there on ya oh hey there true math yeah I was explaining um how to do these maps, all the tips and tricks. And I think the big highlight here is how to defend against griefers, like Proxy's been doing. 